Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Free update for Friday's card, March 22nd, 2024. Coming up with a free play in the big dance in just a moment. Uh, yesterday, we hit four out of five premium plays. The Kansas Jayhawks are the one team that cost us a perfect 5-0 and premium day on Thursday. Uh, the Jayhawks up by 21 points in the second half at one point of that game and almost gave it entirely away. Uh, they ended up only winning by three points. And of course, that did not get the job done as far as the spread was concerned as they were laying seven, seven and a half. So pretty close to a five and zero day, but we fell short with the Jayhawks. Uh, four and one though overall. And today I've got uh, three college basketball plays on Friday, including my only seven unit play of the entire opening round. It goes today on Friday. It's an afternoon play. Three plays and on college basketball. My college basketball run all rated plays up 6150 6100 bucks uh, going back to about February 26th top play run which are plays five stars and up you can see it on your screen there 12 and 2 the last 14 in college baskets 64 and 35 the last 99 in college baskets and all sports top play run now stands at 181 and 124 and up over 23 thousand dollars along the way so we'll look to rack it up do it again let's go for the college basketball sweep led by that seven star play on saturday's excuse me on friday's card and also you can check uh, the other plays i've got nba going too after last night's win uh in pro basketball with the denver nuggets let's get to the free play it's nebraska and texas a&m huskers laying a point for the most part couple of the one and a halfs out there it's scheduled for a 6 50 p.m eastern tip-off I'm going to start with the coaches, Fred Hoiberg and Buzz Williams, and I'll take Hoiberg over Williams any day of the week as far as the coaching is concerned. I mean, Buzz Williams was probably pretty cl close to being shown the door if they didn't go on a, a bit of a, a run this year and, and eventually make it to the big dance. The team cannot shoot. I mean, there's 362 college basketball teams. AM's 352nd in three-point accuracy, 303rd shooting the deuce. Nebraska is aggressive on defense. You aren't going to get a lot of open or free looks, so to speak, when you're playing against the Cornhuskers when they're on their game. They are balanced, 33rd in offensive adjusted efficiency, 30th on the defensive end of the floor. And the one thing I guess you could say that AM has going for them is probably their work on the offensive glass because they do miss a lot of shots. They go inside, they, they get their rebounds, and they put up second and third shots. Uh, quite a bit throughout the course of the season. In fact, they're number one in the nation with their work on the offensive glass. And uh, Nebraska does give up second shots from time to time. It's Hoiberg, Hoiberg style is to get down the floor. Uh, but the bottom line is, I think they missed too many open looks, and I don't think they're going to get the job done here uh, with the way Nebraska has bought into Fred Hoiberg's system. It, it's a pretty loaded starting five for the Cornhuskers this year with solid contributions coming from the bench. When you talk about the Huskers, I mean, you got Tommy Naga, I mean, this guy is impossible to defend, and if he's on, forget about it. Then you got Rink Mast, the Bradley transfer, the big man, 6'10", can bring bigs outside on the offensive end and make them defend the deep perimeter, gets them away from the glass. Alec, Gary, Wilcher, these guys all play their roles, roles to a T, and I think Nebraska is going to get the job done here over a &M. Nebraska, your free play on Friday's card. And again, I've got four plays in all, one in the NBA, Three premium plays in the package in college baskets led by my only seven-unit play of the opening round. All available on my homepage over at DocSports.com. I'm Scott Spritzer, everybody. Let's put them in the win column.